Um, thanks. <laughs> I'm gonna play you a, a song that um, when we first started streaming Heartthrob that um, I, I don't ever read things online because I don't think it's any of my business what people say online, but the day that we started streaming our live our record on the, on, on the internet, on the interweb, I went on and I read some comments and the first comment that I read was that they thought this next song was like the most cheesy song that we'd ever written. <laughs> I was like, I, I mean, I, it was, it was like as if I was in junior high again. I was like so earth shattering to me. I was devastated. And um, just hold on though. It's don't worry, don't worry. I get past it because I have a pretty healthy self esteem. But um, <laughs> so I was devastated. And then you know, and then there was like arguing back and forth where people were like, "It's not cheesy. That's exactly what love is like." And Tegan is just telling it how it is. And then someone else is like, "You know, that's bullshit." And Tegan's never even experienced love. All she writes is about being sad. And what does she know? And then someone else is like. No, she's happy now. And then someone else is like, how do you know? Is that, are you a friend of hers that got an email thing and signed on? And I was just like reading this, just horrified and kind of embarrassed. And then, um, <laughs> this is the only time I've ever done this. And then I basically kept reading and then someone said something really amazing, which was that they felt like, you know, that I was saying all these things and that this is really was what love was like and that I, I had written a really cheesy song but that I didn't, I was being cheesy for you. So you could listen to the song and then you don't need to feel cheesy because I did it. It's my fault. And, <laughs> I know. Yep, you're welcome. And ever since I told that story the first time, people have been coming up to me and telling me that they love the song and that they gave it to the person they like or they're going to get married to it. And I feel like it's gone to the extreme edge of the earth now. I just want to rein it in and just say that it is a love song, but they're, they're, it's not the love song on the planet. So I know people think I felt bad, but I'm over it. My mom called me and she was concerned I felt bad and she went on for 20 minutes. She was like, that is what love is like, Tegan. That is. People experience those emotions. Like my mom explained love to me on the phone less than a week ago. So this is where you get this man explaining things. Yeah, totally. I come by it honestly. So so I want to dedicate this song to everybody in the audience who either is in love or is heartbroken right now. But only the extremes. Everybody is just content watching television with the person they've been with for three years. This song is not for you. <laughs> Woo!